gives one hope for the future of entrepreneurship to see these young entrepreneurs getting up and uh, taking risks. And it's not just an idea, but it's actually something you can do. We imagine the program as a way for young entrepreneurs to imagine themselves having a different career path. It doesn't just have to be the, the college, grad school, get a job, stay in that job. There's a whole lot more options. I may not even open this business later on down the line, but it still taught me the skills I'd need to do that later on. The mentors were amazing. They did genuinely help us. I thought it went really well, and I think it laid a really good foundation for doing more programs that help support entrepreneurs. Anyone can do it, and it doesn't have to be anything super crazy expensive or anything super unique. This is really what it means when a community comes together to support their youth and also teach them what the future looks like. It's good to know how a business works, to know how to be of value. Entrepreneurship in our world right now, that's definitely one of like a big thing. The Youth Entrepreneurship Program is a really unique idea. This year was the first year we ever did it. It's a brand new program born out of a conversation with the Lincoln County School District, the Oregon Coast Community College, and in that conversation, they said, well, this looks like a job for the Small Business Development Center. Businesses need to know more about this and, and come to an event like this because they're going to identify prospects that they're going to want in their business. It is not unusual at all for young people to have a hobby that turns into a side hustle that could be a scalable business. How can we reach out and connect more with our youth and show them that there's a pathway to small business ownership and what that looks like? All of this work culminates in a pitch competition. So you could think something like Shark Tank, but a lot more fun than that. Our five finalists are going to compete for over $7,000 in prize money. Students are challenged to think like an entrepreneur, to learn about what innovation is, to learn what it is to be a small business owner. We've got Marin Wallace from Toledo High School. One contestant would go up, they'd have five minutes to do their pitch, express their ideas. I started it because I'm somebody who's always loved magic and fantasy. Right now, the global 3D printing market size is in the 20 billions and it's expected to only increase. I'm very sports active. I love doing anything basically competitive. My target market will be any local hunters, anything to do tax derby. The problem. So a lot of pet groomers don't take bigger animals because of the time it takes. After the students pitched, the five judges retired to the judges chamber, and or after the judges deliberated, we returned back into the auditorium with huge checks. All of you did an amazing job. The grand prize won $3,000. We had a runner-up that won $2,000. Then we had a third place that won $1,000. The fourth and fifth place both won $500. And there was a community favorite, which also won $500. Excellent. We're all equally impressed with the interest level and quality that the students brought to this program and the commitment that they made being part of the Youth Entrepreneurship Program. Most students owe it to themselves to explore the path and see if that leads to what brings them joy. Even if you don't end up making a pitch, it's just the knowledge of it is fantastic. It's great fun as well. You get life skills and you can build connections with other people. There were people in the program that didn't even come and do a pitch. They just came in there to learn. Come up with a good idea. It's just a fun opportunity. There's no worst case scenario because no matter what, you're going to learn about business. We want them to engage with the community, to build confidence in themselves and in what they can create. And we hope that this program helped them do that.